Alright, so since the last video wasn't as seamless, hopefully this video is a lot more clear and easier to follow. And so, let's get started. So we're going to need the Orange Pi Debian OS folder right here, as well as the PyPone um, GitHub files here. So to get those, we're going to go ahead and go to the Orange Pi website, go to their service and download head to their download section and I'm going to look for the Orange Pi 03. Scroll down and we should find the official images. We're going to go ahead and install the Debian image. I'm going to download the 6.1 kernel, kernel version and I have the one and a half memory um, model so I'm going to click that and I'm going to download the Debian Bullseye server right here. Just go ahead and hit that download. All right, we are then going to go to the GitHub and download the zip by going to the drop down menu and hitting download zip. Next, all you're going to want to do is extract them onto your desktop as I have them here. Now, before we open up Polina Etcher, let's go ahead and plug in our SD card that we're going to be using for the Orange Pie. And once we have that open, we're going to want to go ahead and open up our Orange Pi folder on our desktop and drag and drop this disk image file onto Belina Etcher. From there, we're going to select our SD card and we're going to go ahead and flash the firmware. You're going to be prompted to use command prompt and just select yes. And now that it's done flashing, we can safely eject the SD card. After that, we're going to plug the SD card into our Pi. Then we are going to hook up the LAN cable to our router or some type of device that will give us Wi-Fi connection. Then we are going to power the Pi using the Type-C and allow it to boot. Now that our Pi is booting, we're going to want to find the IPv4 address connected to the device. So to do that, we're first going to need to know our default gateway. And if you don't know your default gateway, go ahead and open up your command prompt and type in ipconfig, hit enter, and within the information that it gives you, you should see default gateway and it should give you an address. Copy that address and open up your Google or browser and we're going to paste that in to the top there. We're going to go and view our clients within our router interface to see the connected clients and find the most recent connected client and copy the IPv4 address. We are then going to launch the terminal and type in ssh orange pie at the IPv4 address and if for some reason you get this error, you're going to want to go ahead and follow these steps on screen right here. And then run it again and it should work. Cool. Orange pie. Alright, so in this next step, I'll be showing you how to set up the Wi-Fi for the orange pie, but it is completely optional. You can still set this up over LAN, but it could be quite useful to set it up on Wi-Fi if you ever need to update any packages. From here, we're going to want to sudo apt install network manager. Since the version of orange pie I have has Wi-Fi connectivity, I'm going to go ahead and set that up to my Wi-Fi. If you don't have that, you can just plug in a USB adapter and that will also work. But since mine already has a Wi-Fi antenna, I'm just going to go ahead and use that. So once that is installed, um, we can run this command here and this will show us the list of devices for Wi-Fi connectivity. And so as you can see, it's disconnected. Um, we're going to go ahead and we got to get the BSSID to our network. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and run the Wi-Fi list command. So it's that same thing as above, just add Wi-Fi list and find the network that is yours. Here's mine. I'm going to go ahead and copy that BSSID. 
and hit Q to quit out of this menu. Wi-Fi connect and we're going to go ahead and type in the BSSID or just paste it in. You could right click and then password. You're going to enter in your password right there. All right, hit enter. Um, there you go. We're successfully connected. And if we run not that command, I did not mean to hit that, um, hit Q to quit. If we run the this command, we should be able to see that we are now connected to the Wi-Fi. So now we want to find the IPv4 address to this. Now you could go back in to your router and figure it out that way, but uh, you could also run this command and get your IPv4 that way. You just gotta use your arrow keys to go down and you should find your um, IPv4 address in this information window thing yeah uh, so here it is here's mine 192.168.0.122 so copy that you can open another tab and ssh into that now so we're gonna do ssh orange pie at the new ipv4 address you can now once you are connected you could disconnect the lan cable and you can use that for your ps4 later um and we can close that tab so after we've done this and we are connected, I accidentally typed the password in wrong here, I believe. Also, fingerprint, yes. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and swipe this to another tab, and we're going to go ahead and install the whole repository thing. So, now open up FileZilla. And we're also going to want to go ahead and open up the PyPone folder. Alright, so we should be here. So for our host, we're going to type in our IPv4 address, whether this is your LAN or your Wi-Fi. So, and then for username, we're going to type in root. Password is orange pie. Port is 22. And we're going to go ahead and connect. Okay. Now hit this folder we're gonna open up the uh, folder right here this forward slash folder and we're going to go into the boot in the boot we're gonna go ahead and drag this folder here into here awesome we are done with that so we don't need that anymore now we could just minimize that so here we are on the github we're gonna go ahead and copy this and paste it and this should install everything we need and we just gotta wait for all this to run All right, so the Pipone is now complete. Now we just have to set up the USB device. Close out of these. And we're gonna need to grab our USB drive. This USB drive, we're gonna go ahead and load up gold hands. So let's go ahead and plug in. All right. All right, so we're also going to need to open this up. So in the Python folder, you should see USB drive and you just want to drag and drop this onto your USB drive. Now, before you do this, if you have a new, if your USB drive is new, you might not need to do this. If you've previously like installed Windows on a computer or something, I don't know. 
Anything where you're going to get partitions on your USB drive, you want to make sure that the USB drive isn't partitioned. So we're going to go ahead and check using Ease Us Partition Master. As you can see here, this is my USB. Um, it is XFAT and it's also not partitioned. So yeah, you want to make sure that your properties want to make sure that your drive isn't partitioned and that you're on XFAT. So you could check if you are partitioned. You could also check that on Disk Manager. So right here, ensure that your USB isn't partitioned. If it is, you could delete them and then reallocate them here. Or you could kind of just use this here and just use that anyways. Once that's done, just go ahead and drag it and you should be fine there and you can just uh, eject it. Okay. And that is pretty much everything done and set up at the computer. Now everything is to the PS4. Now over on the console, go over to settings, go to network, go to set up internet connection. We're going to use a LAN cable custom. We are going to go ahead and select PPPOE and make sure that your user ID and password are triple P automatic, automatic, do not use. And we're just going to power off the console. Now at the front of our PS4, we're going to want to go ahead and plug in the USB power adapter for the Orange Pi as well as the Gold Hen USB if you haven't loaded Gold Hen already. If you ran Gold Hen on your PS4 before, you do not need the USB here. Now from there, we're going to make sure that the Type-C connector is plugged in and the Ethernet is plugged in to both the PS4 and Pi. Now we just reboot and allow the payload to inject. All right, well, I hope this video was a lot more clearer than before, and this time the payload did take longer to inject, but yeah, it varies very much, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye!